Pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, fabulous Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And there's big news this month for you. Like, okay, yes, we do have important lunar events, big lunar events that I think you are going to love. But I'll talk about them in just a moment. Even though they tend to get more of the energy, I do focus on them a lot more for the monthly horoscope, certainly, because we feel lunar events like full moons, like new moons, that much more. And you will really love the full moon and new moon that takes place this month but for you I'm actually going to start with something that happens towards the end of the month and that is Neptune your ruling planet which has slowly but surely been moving through your sign since 2012 will be here right to the middle of the next decade well it is your ruling planet that will be going direct after months of being retrograde it is now that something within you is going to feel and for some it'll be an instant where it feels like you've woken up, like literally the planet of sleep in the sign of sleep moving forward. It is as if something within you becomes very clear, very knowing. Your spiritual energy and force becomes a lot more focused, a lot more grounded. And it is as we get to the end of the month that chances are there'll be a lot of emotion. There's like this well of emotion coming forward. But at the same time, there is you understanding the power of your feelings, the power of your spirit. And in a way, it really does make all the difference. Very often when people want to know what's happening in their sky, what they really want is to feel different. They want to feel as if their life is aligning with a different energy. That's really what it comes down to. It isn't necessarily about some sort of practical thing and then want to know. Most often, I found, is that it is very personal. It is very much about wanting to feel more in alignment with something that feels like whether it's a higher purpose or happiness. Whatever that is for you, as Neptune goes forward, there might be a little bit of a moment where there's uncertainty, but then very quickly, there is an inner sense of greater alignment that happens for you. And that could mean everything. And that ends up truly being the most important thing that could happen for you this month. On the one hand, clarity, you realize where you weren't seeing things accurately, where it was you were telling yourself one thing, but it was actually different. You realize what it is that you're really feeling, even though you've wanted to feel another way. You realize what your intuition and your instincts have been trying to tell you all along, but now you get it, right? The penny drops kind of moment, you get it. And it is truly, at the end of the month that you feel like you are moving forward. And it's not just personally that you're moving forward, but there's other things happening this month as well that suggest this. And part of it is the fact that the day before Neptune goes forward, we have a new moon. Now this new moon happens at the very top of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with career and social standing and life purpose. And it is this new moon that will be speaking in supreme harmony with Chiron. And so there's a healing energy with you. You're able to tap into a spirit of healing and use it towards your larger success. Two days before that new moon, we have got the meeting of Venus and Jupiter in this same part of the sky, the part of the sky that Jupiter has been in over the course of the last year. And this is just days before Jupiter leaves this part of the sky in a concentrated part of the sky. All of this does suggest that there is a real cherry on top moment, a sense that things are coming together for you in career, in life purpose. And at the same time, there's you feeling like you are moving forward. So there's so much happening towards the end of the month that helps you to feel more in alignment ultimately with you and with success as you uniquely define it. There's a sense of opening doors within you, but doors in terms of openings in your life and in terms of opportunity as well. So with that new moon, if it is that you make money as, because Chiron is moving through a part of the sky that has to do with money you earn and money that you spend, with 
uh, anything that has to do with healing, okay? So this could be you working as a healer, however you define it, or within that industry. So whether it is the medical field, uh, whether it is alternative health, whether it is what I do, I think of myself as bringing forward a healing energy, but that's how I see myself. However it is that you see you, and if you see yourself as a healer or a healing presence of any kind, and that is where you earn your money, well, it is then that you're able to really tap into some of the bigger blessings on offer with this new moon. But I would even say if you're looking for either a new career or just a new opportunity, an interview, audition type of thing, if it is that you are applying for jobs that, again, broad umbrella, right? Maybe you are you work in administration, but you want to do administration within the healing field, then you've got that much more cosmic support for having it be that much more successful. If it is that you are an artist and you create and that is your career path, where it is that you feel what it is that you create aligns with a healing energy, you're able to tap into it that much more into the energy of prosperity and the energy of success at this time. And where it is that maybe you just need to heal something within yourself so that you are open to and aligning with life purpose, it becomes that much more clear and the work just accelerates that much more at this time. But with Venus and Jupiter moving through this part of the sky, there is going to be some blessing there, some opportunity that does show up for you. The new moon just kicks it into high gear that much more. So there is going to be some career success, interview of success, audition success, promotion, uh, a sense of you being accelerated on the path towards living your life purpose. Uh, even rewards can find you at this time. Greater visibility can find you at this time in a way that resonates with you. Now let's move to the middle of the month since we seem to be going backwards here, but in the middle of the month is when we will have this month's full moon. This full moon is happening right around the 12th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. And this full moon happens in a part of the sky for you that has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors but it also has to do with communication of all kinds. Now there is supremely harmonious alignments happening between this full moon and Saturn and Pluto. Saturn and Pluto are moving through a friendship part of your sky. So it looks like you could get good news based on the people that you already know, that you are aligned with in some way, friendship that you are aligned with, or professional groups that you are involved in. But both of these parts of the sky are also connected to a certain visibility. They're connected to media. And so it could be at the time of this full moon, in some way you may get some media attention as well based on what it is that you offer and what it is that you do. There's a harmonious connection between Neptune and this full moon as well. Neptune, of course, in your sign, slowing down at this point to a standstill and some of its strongest power that it's going to be. And it can feel very dreamy at this time, like a dream is coming true for you. And then we have Mercury retrograde standing across the sky from this full moon. Now that's where things get really interesting because this can be a sense of you having another opportunity that you thought was lost or having a sense of reconnecting with someone that allows this very opportunity to find you now. Because this part of the sky is also connected to siblings, cousins, and neighbors, there could be some really lovely news on that front as well, having to do with one of these people or opportunity presented to you through one of these people at this time. Now, regardless, I do feel like this is gonna be a time when you are making uh, a sense of synchronistic connections with other people. Like you just find yourself in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, and it makes all the difference now and for your future. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus meeting uh, Jupiter in the sky at the very top of your sky, well, look, that meeting itself is thought to be the most romantic day of the year. And moving through the very top of your sky, it makes love very visible for you now. If you are open to meeting someone new, I do think that you may find yourself meeting or connecting with someone who is in a position of authority uh, or someone who's achieved something that you admire, that's where the love luck seems to be especially strong, especially in the second half of the month.
For those of you who are just starting to date someone, I do think you will be considering whether or not this person is aligned with the direction in which you believe you're going, a sense of destiny that you have for yourself. Does this person, uh, whether with the emotional support they offer or practically, is this person a part of that vision that you have? This is gonna be a time when you start to get more clear on that. And I think for most Piscines out there, it is going to feel as if this person is aligned with that direction. And for those of you who are in an established bond, uh, this is a time for making big plans, for looking up and looking forward. This is gonna be a time when the two of you are considering how to best move towards some shared goals that you may have. But I would also add with this, it is also possible that in a very spontaneous kind of moment in the second part of the month, your partner may give you some kind of a pep talk, if you will, that helps you to feel more clear about your life purpose and more in alignment with what it is that is ahead for you. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but of course, I'm going to say what I started with, which is Neptune moving forward. I think this is a beautiful energy for you, a prosperous energy for you all around this month as well. And I do feel like it is within you as you start to feel more clear and more in alignment that it will start to feel like your life is falling into alignment as well. It is going to start to feel as if you are aligning with a higher, more loving vision for your life. And it's not just something you feel, but it's showing up for you now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.